How's it going guys? Me, Davey here for another shave. My very first shave after the big event, the Big Shave West out in Pasadena. And I'll tell you guys, man, it was absolutely amazing. Um, today's soap that I will be using is going to be none other than the Big Shave West uh, Classic Pasadena Barbershop scent. Limited edition for Old Town uh, Shaving and the Big Shave West event. It smells really nice. It's a very, very, very unique barbershop scent. And it is absolutely different from any other barbershop scent that you can possibly get. I know Damon over at Old Town Shaving still has some of the small tins left. So, if you're interested in this scent, give him a call. See if he can not send you out some. I really enjoy this scent. I think a lot of you guys will too. So, if you want to pick that up, make sure you hit up Damon. Again, I really like it. So, uh, D Douglas Smythe did a hell of a job um, coming up with that soap. Or what I told him, since he got into all kinds of gangster rap mode uh, this weekend being the MC, I'm told him, I told him his new name is MC Dougie S. So, Dougie, Dougie S, the shave is for you, buddy. And also, um, this is also another important shave. Uh, I'm not sure if this video is going to be posted before or after. Uh, my big shave overview that I did with my wife um, but uh, either way on that video you're gonna get more details on this but this is a Gillette fat boy I got this from Donald the Navy goat great man veteran of the of the US Navy um, excellent stories I had a great time talking to him he seen my video in which that I wanted a Gillette adjustable and even though Caleb McCullough did send me a Gillette Slim, he said that he had a fat boy they could give to me. And not only did he give me this Gillette fat boy, but he gave me an, a, an array of wonderful vintage Gillette razors. Again, you'll get more details on that on the overview that I do with my wife, but this is just a very important thing. I can't tell you guys, Caleb, this goes up to you as well, and also the, uh, Donald the Navy Goat. I appreciate you. This... It means a whole lot to me that you'll go out of your way, take this from your collection, and give it to me. I know you want it to go into a good home, and I promise you each and every one of these razors will get plenty of love and attention here in my house. So, thank you for this. This shave is also dedicated to you, sir. Um, and here we go. So, I got the Pug Bloomin', of course. I actually took the Shave the Man limited edition brush to the event so everybody could see it. So, I'm going to, of course, use that today in my shave. Take out all the bloom water. And again, I'm not sure if this shave is going to be before or after my overview, but I'll say it once and I'll say it a thousand times. This event was absolutely amazing. I got to meet so many people. I took so many pictures with people, shook so many hands, got to talk to so many people. Um, it was just good to see that before you know it, man, just the moves that people like Damon uh, of Old Town Shaving, uh, Justin of uh, Shave Revolution, um, I met David Mendoza of the Shave Shop uh, out in West Covina. The moves that these guys are making, man, it's, it's making California, and specifically Southern California, a hot spot, one of the meccas of wet shaving now in, in our... Uh, in our country. So I'm super excited to be pretty much dab smack in the middle of it all. Oh yeah, there's a lot of soap over here. I was talking so much, I think I may have overdone it, but so be it. Again, it's always better to have too much product than not enough. Go ahead and wet my face a little bit. Got the door open. What are you doing, sir? Got the door open because the dogs are here. The wife had to go run an errand. It's late as hell when she had to go run an errand. Um, so I gotta make sure that the dogs don't destroy the room. Oh yeah, Jesus. I totally went to town on this puck of soap. I'm getting great time this weekend. Um, again, not only did I get to meet a lot of, uh, of new people that I've never met before, a lot of people that watch my videos on, here on YouTube, have me on Instagram, have me on Facebook, 
But, you know, I got to reconnect and touch base with a lot of the guys that, you know, I've been talking to, uh, I've been knowing for a while and built great relationships just online, you know, like my, like uh, Khan, uh, Shave the Man himself. Everybody knows who he is. And um, I had the, the pleasure and the privilege to be able to pick him up from the airport, take him to his uh, his hotel. You know, and, and had a few meals with them, was at the event with them. He just had a lot of conversations. And he's good people, man. Again, just the energy that radiates off that man is just, it's infectious. You can't be around Khan and be in a bad mood. He just has a vibe and an aura that's just different. And then, of course, um, Douglas and Fran, cool people. Um, again, any of you people that don't like him, that's fine, whatever, but... Um, I've been able to actually break bread with this individual, and um, he's been nothing but fantastic to me and my family. Um, same thing with his girlfriend, Fran. She's amazing. So, again, a lot of people like to talk trash over the internet and not knowing the whole story. I actually know this person in, in person, so this individual in person. Okay, so the last time when I used the the Gillette Slim, I used it on a five. Well, smooth as can be. It was smooth as can be. I enjoyed the shade, but I actually felt that I need the urge. Excuse me again. Where you at, animal? I was just laying there. His carcass is on the, on the floor. So, and I actually felt that I needed something a tad bit more aggressive. So I moved it on to the 6 right now. And the 6 feels really nice. And today I actually went with the crystal blade. And I tried the crystal blade in the... Then the Razor Rock Stealth Slant. I used it in the Razor and also the Razor Rock Rake. And I felt that it cut better in the in the slant and the rake. In the rake, it felt like it wasn't doing anything. These blades are incredibly smooth. So with a super mild razor like the rake, I felt like, I pretty much felt like the blade was non-existent. Which, for those of you that know me, or have seen my videos or whatever, um, a reason why I originally didn't DE shave is because I needed to feel the blade on my skin. I preferred it. You know, I started off as a straight razor shaver, so. So with that being said, it delayed my transition into trying the E shape. So the crystal blade in those least aggressive razors. Again, it was much better in the slant. But again, you know the slant is uh, mild in itself, but efficient. This, now that I can control the aggressiveness as, as, at a six, I really, really like that with the grain pass right now. Of course, the money pass against the grain is going to be the test as to how much I like it. You know what? I think I'm even gonna go to to a seven. Let's do this. Oh, I lost my second hair from this brush. Not bad.
Because I definitely feel the razor a lot more. And lately I know I've been doing a lot of DE shaves. I promise you I will get back to the straight razor shaves. Uh, my next few shaves will be with a straight razor. But just some of the new stuff that I've gotten, the new razor blades. Um, I just recently got that Razor Rock Rake. So I had a lot of stuff I had to try. I got the Crystal Blades. I got the Vashka Blades I wanted to try. So, other things took precedent. And now with all these vintages I have, I have even more reason to kind of take time off from straight razor shaving, but I miss it already. I already want to straight razor shave. But again, I felt that it was only appropriate for this shave back to be uh, for a good old navy goat. I was bummed out because Douglas didn't bring, take enough uh, aftershave for the soaps. So, I didn't get my hands on the aftershave, but he assured me that he would make a little extra. And I told him I will get one when they're ready. I make sure I don't cut myself. I was so pissed because again you know, I don't cut myself all that often. But if you guys pay attention when I do, it pisses me off. Well the day before Big Shave West, I was gonna go meet with the guys over at Damon's house. And so I decided to, it was on Stallion Day, you know, Stallion and James Keegan Day. And so I was in a rush to shave. I wanted to get that. It was really important for me to get that shaving. So I did. So, but in my haste, I got a cut here. No blood, but sure enough, the next day, the day of the Big Shea West, it was like scabbed up. So I was a little frustrated, and um, I have to say, even slightly embarrassed, because, dude, um, I'm a shaving guy. I, I do these damn videos. And I'm going to be the jackass that shows up with a cut on his face, so that kind of sucked. Yeah, I don't know if perfect at the end of the day. We're putting, you know, straight metal onto our face and shit's going to happen. But I was like, damn, of all the times. Again, I've cut myself probably a half dozen times in the last two and a half years. That's about it. You know, maybe a couple more that I may have forgotten. But I really don't cut myself much. And to do it the day before the Big Shave West bums me out.
So it's Monday today. I should be seeing Khan and his wonderful lady friend Kim before they leave again. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Again, they're just good vibes, so I enjoy being around. Them. Stephen Kerr, I'm using the towel right now, so if you see the, the shaking, it's not a ghost. It's me. I guess people couldn't see that I was using the towel for a few, you know, to dry my hands. So they would see the shaking, and they thought the shaking was coming from the mirror. So they're thinking, I have like some kind of ghost. No ghost. It's just me touching the damn door. I really should take the towel off of the rack and like just put it off to the side right here, but no. It's one of those things I forget. I have every intention on doing it, but I just forget. So today I'm actually going to pair this and I think it actually pairs really nice with Razor Rock Baby Blue. So that's going to be my aftershave of today. Of course I have my Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is, I'm never going to run out of this shit. And again, just anybody who's watching those at the show, hey, it was a pleasure meeting you guys. I really appreciate all the love and support you guys gave. Anybody that bought shirts, anybody that stopped me for a picture. Uh, man, it was just a very humbling and just surreal um, feeling, man. Just to have so many people know my name. and You know, I'm just some some random dude that does shave, <laughs> shave videos, man. Uh, in hopes of spreading the love of our hobby. And just to be able to get that kind of recognition and, again, love from perfect strangers, it's, it's special, you know. I get plenty of love from my family. You know, it's not that I need the love or I'm doing this for all the attention. But I'm not going to lie. It was nice to have that attention at the event. And some of you, again, there's that whole shave celebrity shit going around and that we think we're shaved gods or, or whatnot. That's not the case. We're regular guys that just love our hobby that much to where this is what we do. You know? And then again, for every jerk that wants to run their mouth about us, events like Saturday make it all worth it, man. It shows that something that we're doing is positive and you know, and again, we're not changing the world. We're not really changing people's lives. We're just changing some little aspect of shit that they do. But again, they're grateful for it, for whatever they do learn from our videos. And it's just special, man. So thank you, guys. Congratulations to the winner. Again, that's if this video is being posted after the video. But we did do the drawing for the winner for the Double Duck Gold Edge. But still, that doesn't mean stop buying shirts. So please, um, we appreciate the love and support. Uh, so sharp limited.com come check us out and uh, just thanks everybody have a good night